I want to talk about notification lights though for a second. Okay. Okay. So I saw I on uh, on Twitter there is a tweet, uh, a little bit of a teaser sharing the back of the upcoming Oppo Reno Seven. This is mm-hmm. a phone that's not out yet, but it's it's teased. And the thing they're teasing, I've seen a, a bunch of cool textures on the back of Oppo phones in the last like two years, mm-hmm. which I think is nice. Some of my favorite backs on phones have come from Oppo. This is another one. It has like a kind of a neat, almost sandstone looking back. But around the camera bump, there is an LED light. So if, yeah. you're, if you're listening, if you can picture a camera bump which sticks out from the phone, the rim around that camera bump is glowing in like a purplish white. Yeah. Now, I tweeted this. I was like, oh, that's one of the best uses of a camera bump I've seen. Immediately polarizing. I never know really? when things are going to be polarizing, but this is one of those things where, okay, on the upside – Yes, it glows when you put your phone face down and you're in a dark enough environment, mm-hmm. uh, which I think is awesome. I actually also picture that, I mean, this is a render, so it might not be this bright, but if you flip it over right side up, like a lot of people have their phone, it could still like send a glow yeah. onto the table that I would think so. it's on. That would be cool. Uh, a lot of other people are like, this is pointless. This is dumb. Why do people even have notification lights? I'm like, whoa, I whoa, really... whoa, whoa, whoa. I despise exactly. those people. If yeah. you're listening... <laughs> Change your mind. I still want you to listen, but change your mind. I'm Notification not about that. lights used to be on like every phone. It would. I would. I, I remember it. an era distinctly where I would mention in every review where they put the notification. Really. Light. I remember the Nexus One. We were just working on this video. Had it in the trackball. The trackball glowed. Oh. That was sick. Yeah, my. They started I think shrinking my them. Eris had that as well. Yep. They shrink them a lot. They eventually were like up in the corner of the phone or down at the bottom. They just put like a little notification dot mm-hmm. in the front. Then they moved to the corner. And then now a lot of phones don't have them. Sony phones have them. That's almost about all I can remember. Sometimes I know people who download apps that turn their iPhone's flash into a notification. That's really bright. It's really bright. Yeah, <laughs> it's that, super annoying. I feel like that could go off at the wrong, or like in the middle when you're sleeping and it just like lights up the room. Up. Yeah, or like, even just it looks like you took a picture of somebody when that, you didn't. <laughs> that would be really bad. Yeah. Um, I miss my, my Note 8 still might be just like one of my favorite phones I've ever had just for so many different reasons, but the notification icon or LED on that was just so good. Like, Where was it on that? It was top left. But like the screen was like, it had the nice waterfall screen. The screen always looked nice. You never really knew the LED was there until blue for notifications or no green for notif- or messages, blue for like Twitter notifications, I yep. think. And then yellow for Snapchat. Like it had a bunch of different colors. Yep. I always could tell what I always knew if a yellow one came in, I didn't really care about it that much because it was Snapchat. <laughs> green for WhatsApp. You could, you could always so have an simple. app too to customize what color the notification would be for certain it was so things. So nice. I don't get how that's still not a thing. It's yeah. so easy. So like, they're kind of dying except for a couple phones like what Sony does. Red for low battery, green for fully charged. Uh, so I thought this was like cool. This is like a neat thing. You mm-hmm. don't have to use it all the time, but it's like a nice way to take advantage of leaning into having a huge camera bump yeah, when not, they all look the same. Exactly. So I the, was into it. I, I was giving it a shout out. I hope that is as bright as it looks in the render. It's mm-hmm. dangerous to assume that because it is a render and the phone's not out yet, but we'll see. Maybe we'll get hands on the Reno 7. The only thing I can see, if you have a case on, you probably won't. You oh, won't right. That was the other. It. You'll have to. I mean, if you have a clear case, which I don't like clear cases very much. You'd have to. I'm sure it will come with a clear case. I feel like a lot of those yeah. Oppo phones do come with one. But, yeah, if you have a case, you can't really see it. Um, yeah, that was the other common tweet Other I got. than that, I love it, though. Yeah. I think it's so cool. I don't get why anyone would be against it. Yeah, unless, unless it's, it costs like a million dollars There's to no – yeah, I, I highly doubt it. Super into it. Yeah. Uh, we have one more quick story I just wanted to mention because I thought it was kind of funny. Um, I have it listed as Adele saves us from Spotify. Um you may have just seen like a couple headlines about Adele. Please explain. And yeah, yeah. There, so there's like all these headlines. Adele gets Spotify to remove the shuffle button from her albums or like sh- or Spotify hide shuffle button on Adele albums per her request. Pretty much what happened is mm. if you've noticed when you, ha- when you go to an album on Spotify and you click play, it automatically shuffles it. That big button on the top shuffles oh, right. albums. Right. Adele pretty much was like, hey, we are artists. <laughs> We spend so much time putting these songs in like the correct order to us and ordering them up. I don't really want it to be shuffled as the default. Okay. She didn't take away the shuffle option. You can still shuffle her albums and everything, mm-hmm. but the default now for her albums, just play through the album like normal. 
Yeah, that, that makes like, sense. Couldn't exactly. There are so huh. many people really mad about this. I guess they thought she got the shuffle button removed from her albums. No, she saved us. I, we stand. That's, that's one of those. Uh, that's one of those features that seems like it should have obviously been available. Exactly. Especially like from the artist side. There's a lot. Uh, most of my favorite albums are chronological. Mm-hmm. Like you just go from top to bottom. Ram, The Incredible True Story. Incredible True Story, yeah. Even like Graduation, a lot of Kanye's albums. So yeah, uh, allowing the artist to to default to shuffle or to default to play straight through. It makes should sense. just. I just think it should always default. It should to probably not always shuffle. Go straight I don't through. get how that. Yeah. But yeah. Cool. Well, thank you, Thanks, Adele. Adele. Yeah, Wait, we so it. so she got it removed on her albums, but it's not available for so other people. It's, I thought it was, but it looks like Adam's doing some research over there, and he's got an update. Yeah, so according to this article from The Verge, Chris Mikowski, the head of music communications at Spotify, confirmed the presence of the new feature to The Verge. Quote, as Adele mentioned, we are excited to share that we have begun rolling out a new premium feature that has been long requested by both users and artists to make play the default button on all albums. End quote. So only Spotify, or only premium. All albums, but only Only for premium premium users. So if you're so if you're not a premium user, you get the B tier Adele album experience, which is out of yeah. order. Last song first Adele for song hates last you for not having Spotify yeah. premium. So so Adele saved Spotify for all of us premium users. Yeah, I guess is, that. isn't it? If you're not a premium user, you can't even like pick the songs. You just pick the playlist and it auto shuffles. Yeah, it. I actually th- I didn't. I I can't yeah. speak for non premium Spotify use. I've paid for this for a long mm-hmm. time. But I have heard some weird quirks about like asking for a specific song on Spotify, non-premium, and just not being able to listen to it in order. Like, I don't know. I I highly recommend paying for Spotify Premium, which probably yeah. leans right into their exactly what it they does, want. It's because I- they nuke the non-premium version. But it's great. It's every song. I don't use Apple Music or Tidal or any other service at this mm-hmm. point. You're right. And I agree with you as well. I just think buy it. Thanks for watching this clip. Hope you're uh, hope you're watching it on a brand new 55 inch black 50 percent off TV you got on Black mm-hmm. Friday. I hope I, sure. that's the situation with, right now. With leftovers, leftover sandwich is that your go to? Um, we're I don't have a go to. I mean, casserole is always on the menu after Thanksgiving. After Thanksgiving, you just put it all on one thing. Okay. Have you heard <laughs> of people uh, putting it in a waffle maker? No. That. It hits. Whatever you're doing. Yeah. Best of luck. Thanks for watching. Get subscribed. Don't miss the next one. Do it. We'll be thankful for it. Oh, of course. Of course.